Hello friends, this is Abhishek. Welcome back to the Polymer Project video tutorials. This is the video tutorial number 6. Today I'm gonna show you how we can create the paper button uh, by using the Polymer Project. Right? So let's start. Uh, I hope you have uh, watched my earlier videos in which I have shown you how you can configure the Polymer project in a Windows PC as well as in Mac PC. Okay, so continue to that video. Uh, here I'm gonna show you my project which is hosted in IIS. Okay, this is Polymer project, this is Bower component. If you don't know how to get all the paper elements, uh, through Bower, you can now watch my existing videos so you can understand how to get the paper elements. Okay, here I have created a simple HTML page. This is the HTML page. Okay, and I have written some CSS and some basic HTML uh, code. Okay, but before that, today I'm gonna uh, today, first of all let me show you how you can create a simple HTML page. Okay. First of all, you have to include a simple JS that is a platform.js or web component js.js, which is located in Bower components, web components, js, and this is this is web component. Okay, uh, you can also use the minified version of this. Uh, it's depend on you. Okay, if you want to use the original version or if you want to use the minified version, it's a better to use the minified version uh, to reduce the load on the page. Okay, after that, you have to include a polymer.html for the references, which is also located in Bower compo Bower components as well as polymer and polymer.html. Okay, after that, fonts, which whatever you want to use. Here I have used these three files okay uh, to configure my icons okay and uh, to configure my buttons so that you have to use the pepper button okay which is also located in here pepper button and pepper button dot html okay so this is the important whenever you want to configure any control you have to import the html file first okay so and this is the normal css it's a just for uh, formatting my uh, button so it looks good right so here this is my first section here I have configured the food paper button this is the normal paper button okay and here is the colored which uh, I have given the colored paper button dot colored this is the simple color and after that this is the disable button and uh, this is the no ink button okay uh, let's check I'm gonna comment all this stuff okay uh, this is my video channel uh, for the polygon polymer material design phone gap here you can get all the polymer project video tutorials uh, step by step okay and this is my website where you can get all the video tutorials at in one place for free okay these are the four buttons if if you follow the buttons this is the normal paper button I haven't done anything in that just used a single tag okay single element it gives me like this okay the nice effect of a lollipop versions okay the second one is a, I have assigned a class for that so you can get the colored class right third one is disabled and uh, fourth one is no ink that means you cannot <coughs> click on that or like that just disable type button but it's not a disable okay in my second section I have used a single property that is or you can also say the attribute that is raised okay if I assign uh, use the raise property so my button will get like a we can say 3d effects okay it will give the 3d effects now I'm clicking on it the nice shadow comes out right guys I hope you have understanding this 
after that one more section this is the custom section okay like this okay here I have used some icons inbuilt icons so first this is the ok button okay so for configuring ok buttons I have used the core icon okay this, this is this this element comes from the core icons dot HTML file okay so and then after that uh, this is the icon dot check okay if you want to know more about the icons you can go uh, to the bower components or you can also go to the project it will uh, gives you the details power components and uh, core icons demo okay these are the simple different different icons are which are available just copy the name suppose I'm gonna copy the cloud downloaded okay or just assign the name over here and now refresh the page right it will automatically change that I hope you guys are enjoying this video tutorial. I need your feedbacks or suggestions on the uh, on this Polymer project video tutorials. Okay, and uh, at last, just I have created a link. Okay, and I have assigned a link. When I click on this button, it will automatically redirect to the my websites. Okay, and it also gives you the feel of click like this right okay now coming to the next section okay here I have one more another property that is uh, toggle okay that means like uh, on and off right so here I have used the toggle and raised and no ink which we have seen in the first section right guys so and one more that is the active right so if you see this active becomes active right and uh, colored with a different color now I'm gonna click on this it will become active right and now again I'm clicking on the button it will become a deactive same for the raised if I click on this it will get activated and if I click on this it will deactivate it same way here also okay by default is activated and this is the simple raised activated right okay and at last the hover effect when I get hovered on a button the color will get assigned but don't worry it's a just a CSS effect you can also give your own CSS effects okay and when I click on this the normal button will execute okay with this is without our normal ripple buttons okay now the most important thing how we can implement the scripts on these buttons okay it's a very simple I haven't used any jQuery it's a pure JavaScript okay first of all I have created a button <coughs> Uh, sorry I have find a button uh, whose ID is BTN so let me check yeah this is the button okay I'm gonna change its name to click me to better understand okay and after that on a BTN add event listener I have attached a click event listener in it and uh, just alert a simple okay now click me here yeah it's giving me the calling option right you can do whatever you want on this click event okay and it will work awesome right guys I hope you have enjoyed this uh, simple pepper element video tutorial for the polymer project I hope you guys will practice this learn this and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sure uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, this is gonna big uh, you can say the big point for the Google projects 
because for the web platforms it's a very good opportunity to the web developers or a web mobile developers to create a simple mobile application or a web applications so don't forget to subscribe this channel for more video tutorials thank you for watching till then bye bye